Hey, hey, howdy folks. Welcome to the Baldwin Art Academy. I am your teacher, Mr. Baldwin, and we are in week five of distance learning. <laughs> so, um, if you've noticed, especially with last week, we were doing the, um, the pillow fort. What I'm really trying to do is get y'all to open y'all mind. Let's just kind of just expand, you know, a little bit. Go back to childhood. Imagine. Use your brain. Use your imagination. Because we kind of take, we kind of get away from that as we grow up. This week is going to be in a similar vein. Check this out real quick. And now here they are, the most daredevil group of daddy drivers to ever whirl their wheels in the wacky races. Competing for the title of the world's wackiest racer. The cars are approaching the starting line. First is the Turbo Terrific, driven by Peter Perfect. Next, Rufus Roughcut and Sawtooth in the buzz wagon. Maneuvering for position is the Army Surplus Special. Right behind is the Ant Hill Mob in their bulletproof bomb. And there's ingenious inventor Pat Pendy in his converter car. Oh, and here's the lovely Penelope Pitstop, the glamour gal of the gas pedal. Next, we have the Boulder Mobile with the Sly Brothers, Rock and Gravel. Lurching along is the creepy coop with the gruesome twosome. And right on their tail is the Red Max. And there's the Arkansas Chugabug with Luke and Blubber Bear. Sneaking along last is that mean machine with those double dealing do batters, Nick Dastardly and his sidekick, Motley. And even now they're up to some dirty trick, and they're off to a standing start. And why not? They've been chained to a post by Shifty Dick Dastardly, who shifts into the wrong gear. And away they go on the way out, Wacky Races. So that was a show called Wacky Races. Um, it, it came on TV when I was a kid, and uh, the cool thing was each uh, vehicle had like a whole different theme, a whole different, uh, you know, all of the objects that the vehicle was made of, the car was made of, um, was kind of unique to the character. So I'm kind of asking you all to do the same thing. Here's what it is. You are going to create a Wacky Racer vehicle based on one of your personal interests, okay? So first of all, you got to figure out you know what you want the theme of your vehicle to be and then try to create some sort of uh, you know race car based on that thing um, so fill up uh, the the actual requirements you're gonna have to fill up an entire page um, should take about an hour to complete so that's what I'm looking for for that um, you need to use two references okay so go online grab two references to use in the drawing make sure you uh, post those as well as you turn in the assignment and then just be creative um, your vehicle your car can defy the laws of physics it can defy the laws of time it can be a spaceship it can be a submarine it can be I don't know some sort of time machine like there is no rules it doesn't have to physically be able to exist like just open your mind and try to get outside the box as much as possible especially when we trapped inside the box inside your house as much as possible you know like just try to do something that's the opposite of what we have to do with quarantine so expand your mind that's really the whole point of doing this um, you can add shading to it if you like you can add color to it if you like um, that is optional though um, okay be sure to draw general to specific that's really important and I'll do a quick little demo uh, to demonstrate that this is going to be due Friday May 22nd as normal uh, 1159 uh, make sure you attach the drawing your two references add no journal entry for this week and then you're good okay so let's go to this demo really quick I'll just create something live and then we'll see how it comes out all right Okay, y'all, so the first thing that I wanted to talk about was themes, all right? You need to pick a theme to have your vehicle or your wacky racer be about. Now, here's some good things. You might use, um, let's say, your favorite sports team, basketball, football, soccer, you know? It could be a fashion and beauty theme. If you have a favorite video game, that will be a great theme. Um, a lot of people like money. A lot of people just do that thing. It's kind of easy, whatever. Um, it could be a TV show. Um, something that you're watching on Netflix, Hulu, anime. Um, 
different characters from the show, whatever it is, whatever you're into or whatever you feel like speaks to you, that would be what you would want to make your theme about, okay? So let's look at this. Um, this is the Arkansas Chugaba. Or, or no, it's, it's, I don't know, whatever it is. It's, it's um, obviously this dude is a lumberjack, right? We have this lumberjack here, and then we have, um, you know, this little beaver. Obviously, you know, beavers chop wood, lumberjacks chop wood. You can see that the, uh, you know, the construction of the vehicle is all wooden. We got the saws for the wheels. We got this log as the bumper. We got an axe on the side. Every single thing that the vehicle is made of has to do with being a lumberjack. Um, same thing with this. We got these two little cavemen type of people. Um, they got the, the big clubs and the the actual car is made out of a rock so it's just real stone age it's real simple and very primitive looking right so that theme definitely comes across really strong one more let's look at this one this girl her name is penelope pit stop i think um and she's just real super glamorous very cute you know, real girly girl, very delicate, and everything in her vehicle speaks like that. Like, her car has eyelashes on it. It's pink, real, uh, you know, luscious type of lips. You know, very pink colors, um, very just girly, frilly, you know, very delicate. So whatever your theme is, make sure that you're picking things that just help to communicate that, all right? And when you're actually doing the artwork, we, we always say general to specific when we draw. And this is how like actual artists draw. Um, you see the construction of this vehicle. What shapes do we have here? Very simple. You just circles upon circles upon circles upon circles. You got to keep it as simple as possible. I guarantee you when this person was drawn, that's how they started off. Same thing with the actual body of the car. This is basically just... You know, it's basically just a, um, like an oval for the most part. And that's how you would that's how you would do this. You just, you know, start with the big shapes first and then all of this little detail stuff like the little designs and the numbers and the engine and the steering wheel, all of that stuff comes last. But you start off just with your basic shapes. Um, you get those on there, get the right size, and then you start to add, you know, like the little details and, and stuff in there uh, later, okay? Um, so that's that. So let's do a demonstration. As you know, of course, art is my thing. I love art, so it would make sense for me to do a wacky racer that is art themed. Now, I didn't even like plan on showing y'all this, but here's how I work through my ideas. And this is how I actually tried to design this wacky racer. I knew, like, I was trying to figure out what the, the body of the thing was going to be. So I figured, like, a pencil would make sense to make that out of. You can see that I drew this little sketch of a pencil real quick. Now, when you do yours, or when you do art in general, especially, like, if you actually like art and you plan on continuing to do it, it's always good to do some quick sketches first. This is why I tell you how to do thumbnails. So this is like a quick little thumbnail process. So I see that, um, you know, the base is going to be like a pencil. I just cut like a little hole in the pencil where I would be sitting at. Put a seat in there, little steering wheel, whatever, right? Now I was playing with the idea of possibly having like the back of the pencil be like a paint palette. Cause I thought like, what would be a cool way to make this, I'm, I'm gonna make this a boat. I don't know if I mentioned that or not, but what would be a, a cool way to propel this boat other than having like an actual engine or like something or wheels or something like that right so I know like when you squeeze paint and it like squirts out really fast like oh that would be kind of a cool thing to, to drive a boat that would be really artsy so let's see if we can do that so I thought about maybe making a paint palette back here and then maybe like the paint just magically sprayed off the palette and that pushed it forward so I played with that idea and then I was like maybe you can see up here I was like what if we had like an actual tube of paint like be up over top of it or incorporated in some type of way that way you know that, that makes more sense like if the paint was squeezing out of the tube and that was pushing the boat forward okay so I put that up there there's my paint just kind of squirting out 
but then I had to figure out like man how are these two things gonna like come together because they're kind of separate ideas and I was like okay well maybe I just stick a <laughs> stick a stick through the paint and it'll just I don't know it's, it's just a cartoon so you know it doesn't physically have to exist that could be good enough it'll just stick like that but then I started looking at like actual pictures of like race boats so I, I pulled up a reference to that and I, and I saw this picture here and I'm like okay this is kind of cool how like the the pilot or the the driver is like kind of encapsulated in this little um uh cockpit I guess so then I came up with this idea I said okay I got the pencil there what if I made the tube of paint the cockpit and then it ended up going into the tube so like the cockpit and the tube of paint are like both one complete thing so I guess maybe I'll just time lapse this part I got the ideas I kind of worked through it a little bit I got all my resources and then this is how I would um, this is how I would start to bring it together I actually want to make my water first I just do like a little wave for that I don't know, maybe I won't. I'll put that in later. Alright, so first thing, going general to specific. Kind of starting just with the pencil first. Got the rectangle for the pencil. Put this triangle here for the point of the pencil. Um, let's I'll do the metal part. I don't want a paintbrush. This is called a ferrule. I don't know if it's also called a ferrule on a pencil. Could be. But whatever the metal part of the pencil is that's that and then I got my eraser there okay so that's that and then I want the cockpit to start uh, maybe about right here so and maybe I'll even do like on a tube of paint you know how you got the little crimp part at the back that kind of keeps the paint in so maybe I'll do that part there and then that'll be like this is the tube of paint and then like you got the neck of the tube that kind of comes here kind of comes there and then this is the spout and now we know because we did observation drawing that whenever you have a cylinder type of object um, we have this oval or a uh, an ellipse at the end so it looks three-dimensional the same thing would happen also with the eraser too so we would have an ellipse here also if we were drawing it three-dimensionally uh, you don't have to challenge yourself but if you can you know do it because you know how i taught you all right so that's that um oh sorry if that was off the page at all um all right and then yeah and that's really the general part the paint would spray out of there paint 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 and then that's going to give us our propulsion system and now I can kind of start to come in let's say maybe this is the label on the paint I don't know balls let me actually do it this will be fun Baldwin's paint company established 2020 so if I come up with a, um, if, I, if I make a paint company one day Y'all saw it first. Baldwin's Paint Company. All right, so we got that. Um, I will be driving the boat because I'm the only one licensed to drive a pencil in the water. Maybe my hand here. You know, I can go in with some more details or whatever. Um, so I'm driving the boat. Start to put in some of the details here. You know, pencils have this little, this little thing. And we would just keep on kind of going in that way about it. Um, I could work on this for a really long time to try to make it look super nice. And I expect you all to maybe get some of the little threading for the opening of the tube. Yeah, but this is the base. Like, it, it doesn't take very long to get a nice little base. And then you just start to add some of the little details in there afterwards I can add some of the water for my my little pencil art boat yep 
and then the rest is just all detail so just a quick little demo on how to put that together so again y'all this is going to be due friday may 22nd at 11 59 p.m attach the drawing and your two references as you submit this all right um, if you have any questions, let me know. Other than that, this is Mr. Baller, and I'll see you next week.